We open the show today on a celebratory note, of course, as we join the cast and crew of top grossing comedy flick, Chief Daddy. Now they gather to celebrate another milestone for the star-studded movie. Details in this next opening report. Gabo, you have killed him with all your troubles. Niyi Akimolayo director Chief Daddy became the official biggest movie from 2018 with a box office taken in excess of 400 million naira. Today, the cast and crew of the movie have turned up for a special reunion gig and to also celebrate a milestone in the movie's lifespan as it officially premieres on the giant video on demand streaming platform Netflix. I think it's the stories. You gotta keep your stories real, you gotta keep your stories relatable, you gotta keep your stories entertaining, you gotta keep your stories. The production values have to be high, and we're able to tick all of those boxes, and that's why we're on Netflix. Of course, they viewed the movie, they liked the movie, and that's why it's there. Decked in white, the stars of the movie alongside other back-end units hug and pose for pictures as they congratulate themselves for a job well done. For Akimo Lyon, getting international visibility is huge. So I think the best way to approach this thing would be to create a movie that is accepted at home. Once it is really accepted at home, you stand a better chance you know, of negotiating with international distributors, right? Because if the buzz is right from home, it can translate. I am not of the opinion that we should deliberately make films to appeal to an international audience. I think we need to, you know, be better with our production quality, you know, the quality of filmmaking in general. But I think we should be authentic about our stories. We should tell stories that our people will care about. And if we do that well enough, you know, it will resonate. And a good story is a good story. It really doesn't matter, you know, where it's been watched. My husband's body is barely cold. And the first thing out of your mouth is his will. Kemi! Lenwe! Uma bajeo! Moses Babatokwe today wears the heart of box office distribution in Nigeria. While the cinema culture in Nigeria is gradually catching on, many potential cinema goers are already enjoying movies at the comfort of their homes from online streaming. Babatokwe, however, believes the rise in online content streaming is no way a threat to the cinema business, least of all in Nigeria. You know my husband better than anybody. You really do. We don't see any challenge. We only see an opportunity because the experiences are different. You know, for as far as we're concerned in the cinema, it's about the big screen, the big picture. It's about shared experiences. Nigerians want to see that. Nigerians want that. We like going to church. We like parties like this. We like to come out together and see film in its truest form. And nowhere else beats the cinema. At the same time, we like the comfort of our home. So I think that they will complement each other as opposed to compete against each other. Oh, I mean, it, um, the value uh, add is really great because what it means is that everyone, everywhere, you know, can see the film. And that's ultimately what you want, you know. Uh, of course, it's not the same experience as seeing it in cinema, okay. But at least it, it, you know, it bridges that divide, you know, between people who get to see a film in its home country, in cinemas, and every other person who wants to see the film but they can't. So that's what this offers us. And it also says a lot about the quality of the film. It says that if, if this film is good enough to be seen by everyone and to be on a platform like Netflix, then it is a film you know you should watch. I'm gonna get Uma Man them. We're gonna come there and wreck the party. Oh, Bieri, <laughs> and then I call Uncle Tega for you now, your money is gone. I thought this was supposed to be a dignified family meeting. Who called all these people? Anyone that hasn't got child for my dad is illegitimate in my opinion. If I'm going to be successful... You are not a street brat. Chief Daddy follows the story of billionaire industrialist Chief Beecroft, a flamboyant benefactor to a large extended family of relatives, household staff and his assorted mistresses. Chief lives large, likes there's no tomorrow, until the day he dies suddenly and the bullion van stops. Save these poppers of the spirit of what? hunger. Amen. What did you say? What did you just hear? 